Just arrived today in my box of La Aurora uh, cigars. Um, and I have been waiting for these for a while. The company I bought them from, Holt, took way, way longer than I would have liked. Um, at the same time, I purchased another box here that arrived multiple days beforehand. But anyway, I'm really excited about this new box. They had great reviews. They were recommended to me by some fellows on Reddit. Sorry for the quality while I unlock that. There we go. And um, for the price, they're supposed to be amazing. And there they are. Looking delicious. So now I get to transfer all of these wonderful cigars to my humidor. I just moved into my new house and of course I uh, was a gift and I actually really like older humidors compared to new humidors. I like one that's been used, abused, beat up a little bit. Um, see how the surface is a little scratched. Scratched. I could refinish this and I might, but I like one that's been around for a while that's been beat up a little bit. It just has some more history and, and uh, I've already uh, primed it by putting, <clears throat> by rubbing it down with some, uh, distilled water with a sponge. So you soak a sponge in distilled water and you rub down the cedar on the inside a couple times a day for, I don't know, five days or so. And that primes it. And I just put the hydrometer back on. And because it's open, because I don't have any cigars in there, it's going down. So the hydrometer should say 70% because you're supposed to have 70% humidity. And I'm recharging this nice Humicare thing. Um, it had dried out during the move, but those capsules in there, those little pellets are supposed to balloon up after they soak up a lot of this moisture. And if they don't, it means I need to throw this away and get a new one. But <clears throat> you're supposed to use distilled water because your cigars soak up the water that this lets off. And if you use tap water, um, it could so they could soak up impurities that foul the taste of your cigars. Uh, it just depends on how pure and clear your tap water is. So I buy distilled water for this purpose. Anyway, let's migrate all of these cigars over to this humidor. And there we have it. So uh, uh, there are a couple things going on here that I want to describe real quick. So you can see that I took my cigars out of the cellophane wrapper. Now there are two schools of thought on this. The pro wrapper people say that it's good to leave the wrapper on because it can reduce the risk of contaminating your entire stock of cigars if one of them happens to have cigar beetles in them which hatch and end up you know, destroying your cigars. Um, they also say that the cellophane is porous and that water can go through it um, just fine and so there's no reason to take it off until you're ready to smoke them. It keeps them more fresh. The anti-wrapper crowd uh, say that, that you should take the cellophane off because water does not go through them very well and it's easier to keep them tasting good and moist and, and humid at the right humidity um, and, and, and consistency, consistency and the texture in your mouth if you take the wrappers off. I don't know which one is correct. I honestly don't care. I take the wrappers off just because I like the look of unwrapped cigars in a humidor better than wrapped cigars in a humidor. That's why I do it. Um, another thing is that some will say that you're not supposed to store two different brands of cigars or cigars from two different sources in the same humidor uh, for some of the s similar reasons to protect them from cigar beetles and also to avoid cross-contamination of taste. They'll say that, you know, if you put some of the same, if you put cigars that are, that taste different into the same humidor over and over and over again, that the humidor will absorb some of the flavor and scent of those various cigars and end up affecting the taste of all of your future cigars that you put into there. Um, honestly, I've never found that to be the case, and I've used this, I've, I've used a, a number of hu humidors uh, for years, and they'll hold many different cigars over a period of time, and I've never noticed anything like that. Plus, it's just not practical for someone of modest means to own one unique humidor for every type of cigar that he samples. So just get one or two, you know, and, and keep it full, but not too full. And so there we go. So I'm going to, of course, take the cap off of this. And uh, I'm keeping it in a room that's got that's at 70 degrees. And I'm going to enjoy it. So I hope you found that useful. 
Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.